<clears throat> hey guys, this is uh, Hobo Films here. <clears throat> I'm away from the island. I got a faucet, faucet dripping on my head here. I thought it was raining for a minute. It hasn't rained in almost uh, 58 days here. And that's not normal, okay? But I'm going to show you guys something right now. They're trying to make it rain. They're, this is not natural because I've seen them spraying the chemtrails day and night, day and night, day and night. Ah, this thing's getting on a... But they're trying to make it rain, and whatever this chemtrail stuff that they're spraying, it makes it like super windy and stuff, but it just doesn't rain, right? And they've been trying it, trying it, I've, I've been witnessing this go on, I should have been documenting this, right? Like, like, it's like a desert here, like straight up, right? It's like, boom, it's turning into like a desert. See how dry everything is? That's another thing. I can't go up in the mountains or nothing or go camping because it's just too dangerous, right? For the dry conditions and stuff, right? Like, I'm debating throwing my survival boat together because things are getting, like, pretty out there. Like, I could do it within, I think, two days, but... I've been staying over on Salt Spring, but I'm having a problem because I have a problem, hard time living around people, and the people there are pretty chill, okay? Uh, but the thing is... There's a couple people in there. Oh, <clears throat> this thing's pissing me off. It's dripping on my head. <laughs> I thought it was raining for a bit. It was like, well, there's like water droplets. Like, but it's coming from that up there. Yeah, the, the faucet. But, uh, yeah. So, I've just been like in and out of there. Uh, you know. Not necessarily like, you know. I have a really hard time living around people. Right? And there's like. I've been having, like, demonic nightmares and dreams in there, so basically it's, like, I, I probably do to my stress disorder, but, I don't know, I just, I can't, that's the thing, I can't live in a dorm around people, right? I, I need my own space, right? That's why I live out here. Well, I've been living off the side of the store here for, like, five years. Like, on and off, I had a camp up in the mountains. But I do still have a camp up in the mountains, okay? But it's just totally trash. The bears went crazy on it, right? They ripped my camp apart, right? Like, they just destroyed it, because you know what? I didn't know that bears would actually go after canned food. And they did. They went out and they ripped the canned food apart. I'll show you the evidence one day I'll go up there, right? I hope it starts raining, because then I can go up into the mountains, right? Like, I won't go up there until... It, it does start raining, like, the fire hazard conditions, like, lower, right? Because, you know, I'm an alcoholic, and you know what? I just don't want to take chances at, you know, whatever, right? Like, you can get the gist, right? I'm drinking and smoking cigarettes right now. So, I can't go up there or anything until it starts raining, and the fire conditions need to drop, right? So, I have my boat down there. I want to try to do something. I haven't had any fun this summer at all period, right, like, I got cut down by the government and stuff, so basically I'm hardly making anything, they blocked all my funds and benefits, but on a positive note, uh, two days ago was the first time I got my birth certificate, it took me eight years to get my birth certificate, so I've been living without an identity almost eight years now, guys, okay, uh, it's no joke, I'm not making this up, I can prove everything that I'm saying, right, like, I've been homeless for a, a very long time, and I do have a serious stress disorder, which I'm not going to get into. And this COVID stuff has made things a lot worse, right? Like, when it comes to my drinking and, and all kinds of stuff, like, I've gone into blackouts, I start fighting with poles at nighttime and stuff, right? Like, <clears throat> I, I just don't want to get into it, right? Like, I, I've, like, banged myself up a little bit, like, attacking, like, poles and... Uh, I'm not self-harming, I'm just attacking, like, I'm trying to get some anger out, right, like, against my situation, but I'm actually, like, attacking, like, trees and shit, when there's nobody around, right, like, I, I kind of go, like, fucking, kind of, like, you know, Kung Fu style, right, like, I've been practicing my martial arts a little bit, but, uh, whatever, right, but I'm just saying that it hasn't rained in, like, 58 days here, and I'm on the side of the building right now, so, and I think, too, I was over there, I was like, I'm not hammered yet, but I'm getting hammered, right? So, but the thing is, uh, I believe something's going to go down on August the 11th. Uh, I just hope Mr. Pillow Man, 
uh, Mike Lindell. Everything goes smooth for them. I pray and I hope. And I don't. I'm not going to say this and that about Trump. I believe Trump. I'm hopefully this is the case that they set Trump up with this jab, right? So basically, they're going to try to make it look like he's a bad guy and he's the one that's you know, boom, boom, boom to like you know, c crush it, right? But if he gets into power and takes control and turns against the jabbers, okay, this is what needs to happen. And then arrest all of them. I would be so happy, man. And Nuremberg too, and they just arrest all these evil, evil people, right? Like, I could put together a video. Uh, I'd have to, I'd have to put it on a website, like the, like the videos. But YouTube would censor it in seconds, right? I had tons of videos before I was producing stuff, exposing things, which I just don't do here on YouTube anymore. Cause you know what? It's just. Boom, the minute I do something, they're like, oh, boom, we're gonna strike, strike, strike. Okay, you're going down, Popo Films, really. I don't know, it's like, we're going on like a seven minute video. I'm gonna be here all night, so it's gonna take this video all night to upload anyway, so I don't really care how long it goes for. So I'm trying to move that like 10, 15 minutes. But if he regains power, so basically what's happening is uh, Mr. Pillowman, because I don't wanna say names, because you know they might be like, boom, strike. Okay, and I believe all the evil people that hijacked uh, the government and all that stuff, which is clear and present, uh, that that's what's going on. These evil ass uh, mofos, uh, devil people and all that stuff, right? Uh, this extreme scum, scum of the earth, uh, pedos, you want to call that. I, 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 like if I put together a video, I should do this, right? Put it on Telegram or something, like just take a day. And like show you guys all the stuff that I've seen through all the videos that I've watched. Like I got like a photographic memory, so basically I can roll back on like a bunch of stuff and be like, boom, boom, boom. just throw it all into one, just like my analysis, and be like, throw it up there and show show everybody like how evil this is, right? Like you know, and where it's going to, right? But where it's going to is I'm hoping that the rule of law comes to light, and Mr. Pillow Man. And all those people uh, expose us and take back control from these evil, sick <clears throat> mofos and all that stuff on the uh, on August 10th, 11th, and 12th. That's their cyber symposium. I guess it's going out on uh, Mr. Pillow's website. You can go over to AJ's uh, website. You can see today's uh, three-hour-long or whatever. It's in the third hour, I believe, on AJ's broadcast, where Mr. Pillowman's on there, and he explains what's going on. Okay, I'm not even going to say the words, because they'll probably be like, well, I'm trying to strike it, right? Like, but there's something big in the works, and I just hope all those people are safe, and they don't try to do, uh, you know, a 911 on them, right? And, T, the scary thing is that from 911, uh, September 11, 2001, <clears throat> it was on a, on a Tuesday, okay? when it happened, okay, if you calculate the years and uh, months, okay, it calculates out to you, uh, August 11th, 2021 equals 19 years and 11 months and zero weeks and zero days. So that's pretty significant. Like, I'm seeing this, right? I just don't, I just want to say it's showing up as a 911 when it correlates with this date, right? So I'm just bringing that out there. And uh, yeah. I'm doing a little bit of crypto. Some people might disagree with this stuff, but I, I have a feeling that the cryptos are going to skyrocket. Okay. Uh, XRP is going to skyrocket and all this stuff because of the stuff that's going to go down. Okay. Uh, I also, I have a donut. Somebody actually donated. I cannot believe this. Uh, I'll make a video on it that on my wallet. The one that I mean, I got $25 worth of XRP. I cannot believe somebody actually donated $25, okay? Well, equivalent in US money, it's like $19 or something. But the thing is, if this thing goes to where I believe it's gonna go, it's gonna go like Bitcoin, okay? I'm gonna say this. It's not a prediction. I actually, I can see this happening, right? Okay, because uh, it's the one that the, whatever they're like, they can regulate and all that stuff. They're gonna let it go like it's a Ponzi scheme, obviously. All these things are, okay? And it's gonna go through the roof 
and then it's going to come crashing back there because they always do this. They pump it and dump it. It's about, they're all Ponzi schemes. And in the end, you're going to come out with this government, well, the world order's currency, right? This is what they want to do, okay? But all these people, they're going to pump and dump and make all this huge... But the thing is, once it skyrockets, like you put a little bit in there and it skyrockets, get your money out, okay? Get your money out. Invest it in the hard assets. Invest it into, you know... Don't be like, oh, I'm going to ride the wave and da 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 And, uh, no, use them. Make the money. Okay, if you like to hear what I'm saying, this is my prediction. I'm going to tell you something to you. I have a certain knack. Since this thing happened, my um, palm... Okay, for some reason, my palms have a, a tingling feeling when I'm going to make a lot of money. Okay, and this has happened to me several times before. Okay, in the past, like, a lot of money is like a couple thousand dollars to me. <laughs> okay? Like, seriously, like, uh, $10,000 is like a million dollars to me right now, okay? $1,000 is like a, well, not a million dollars, but that's a lot a lot of money to me, right? But if somehow I made, like, a million dollars in one night, yeah, I'd be pulling that money out, like, right away, and I'd be investing that stuff. I'd be buying myself a boat. I'd be buying myself, like, a 10-year supply of food. Uh, I'd be doing all this stuff right now, okay? To make life easier when the stuff does really go down, which I see it going down, where they make everything, oh, you can't do this, you can't go here, you can't do that, you gotta have the thing, right, you gotta have this, right, you know, I just plan to, like, you know, get away from it as best that I can, and if it comes down to it, I'm gonna have to go, like, Survivor Man, like, Les Shroud and stuff, right, like, and boom, it's like, like, there it is, <clears throat> there it is, right there, but I have, I've been wearing the same boots for almost, uh, yeah, I don't know, probably about 14, 15 months now. Something like that. The Coast Guard gave those to me when they rescued me. They're pretty much deteriorating. They're like falling apart and stuff. So my, my, I'm just amazed that they've lasted this long because my feet eats any footwear. Like my feet will eat the footwear. Because right? uh, I don't know what it is. Something to do with my uh, sweat or something like that. It just deteriorates any footwear that I have. But these are the longest lasting boots that I've ever had in my whole entire life that's lasted this long. And I can still walk with them, right? And I'm not developing trench foot. If it starts raining, yeah, these things got to go because I'll get trench foot. Like, I cannot, I got to avoid that, right? It's a super dangerous situation. I could put more videos. I had videos on that before, how to avoid trench foot and all this stuff. But they took all my videos down, so... All stuff that I had on here, there's just a certain amount of videos that I have stayed up, right? So, that's why I'm going to make a backup website. I use Telegram and all that stuff. Uh, Hobo Films, I don't got a lot of content on there, but I should start putting a lot of content over on that, right? But ultimately, they're going to knock the internet kill switch. I, I believe what's going to go on is going to come out, like what they said, it's going to be 10 days of darkness. Where nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows at the end of it. And then at the end of it, we're going to see, right, is who's going to be in power, right? But there's going to be a, 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 it's not a coup. They're, they're doing evidence and all this stuff. And I believe uh, it's going to be a trigger around this time, August the 10th, 11th, and 12th. Uh, everything probably is going to get, like, oh, emergency announcement or the cover. They're going to cover it. They're going to have a cover for whatever they're going to do. And I just hope those people that want the right thing prevail, right? Like, AJ and all these people, right? Like, I'm not saying Trump's a bad guy yet. I think Trump my well, I don't know. But if Trump comes back into power and he's like, oh, everybody still has to get, you know, then I'm going to say, you know what? This guy is not good. This guy's evil, right? So, uh, and then I would say he's the AC, or he's a part of the AC, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? And let's just see, right? Or he comes in, he's like, no. And then they all try to attack him, all this stuff. And he's like, no, looks is what he did. Da -da -da, violation of the Nuren thing code. The Nuren um, burger. The Nuren burger code. <clears throat> and they all get taken down. That's what I want. I, I pray. I, I, I can't wait to see that happen, right? And he's got to take them all down. All of them. All going to go to, uh, you know, <clears throat> in these, right? Okay. They're all going to go in those, right? By the right people. So if that, that happens. 
But yeah, hey, I'm back out here. I'm going to be back over in Salt Spring again. I'm just like back and forth, back and forth, but I'm debating on what I should do. I got my eyes on a couple boats out there that I could think that I could get for like really cheap, like a, like a real boat, something that's got a wash in it. And I can, you know, I might have to take out a whole bunch of garbage and do a whole bunch of stuff to it. But I need something that's maneuverable, so I need something that's like, I was done before. I went with a 35, I was like, oh, I have big, well, I was a run, I could have fixed it up, but they sank it, right? So, and I still, I had two boats last year that were both sabotaged and, and both sank, right? So, in order to make me homeless, because that's what they do. Every time I try to do something, even over here, yeah, they punch holes in the hull uh, of the boat. Uh, they stole my ropes, they've done a whole bunch of stuff. And yeah, it just makes me not want to do any, try to do anything because they just come and sabotage you, right? So I'm waiting for the opportunity to get around this, right? So but I'm going to attempt it, but I'm just going to see, you know, I can't leave it. It's like I have, I have motors under lock and key. Okay, I've saved up, I bought motor, battery and all that stuff. But I have to have it under security or else if I have it out, they're going to steal it bang okay if i have anything of value it's gonna get stolen so the only shit that i have is not a value I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not making this up everything that i have of value gets stolen okay if i try to have something for myself or do something they come in and destroy it or steal it and uh and whatnot okay it's amazing that i actually got my birth certificate from the government okay? it's actually it's a miracle they I, they try to screw that over to you like, I had, like, I got a whole bunch of counselors and a whole bunch, ton of people on it, right, that got my birth certificate, right, so. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's a miracle that I got that, so. This is a long video, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. Let's hope good prevails and uh, the evil gets uh, destroyed. Uh, Sobel Films, stay tuned, stay safe, and God bless. I'm going to throw my crypto link for the XRP in the description box below. So if anybody would like to donate, uh, I have ways to get the money out because I have a guy that, that can withdraw the money from me if I get money. Because even though I, I have a bank account, but it's a limited account. It's like a really limited account that I can only get social service payments through. I can't even link it up with PayPal, you know. It's just totally blocked, right? Like, <clears throat> uh, it's called Pigeon Park Savings. Okay, you can look it up, you can check out the location on the street area, you'll see what's going on there, right? That's what I got to, do, to work with right now, when it comes for banking and, and whatnot, right? You know, I'm not begging for money, I'm just saying, if anyone wants to feel generous and stuff, send me some crypto, if you know how to do it, okay? I believe this thing is going to go up, but it's going to come back down. It's a Ponzi scheme, right? I've seen this with Bitcoin, I see my friend lose everything and all that stuff, but I told him at the time to take it all out. Invested in the gold. Okay, I've if he would have done what I told him, he would have made, like, millions, right? So, but no, he wanted to ride the wave, so he lost everything, right? So, and, uh, yeah. But if it goes up, get your money out immediately. Like, once it's, like, you, you're, like, up there. Like, say I got 20, say I make $2 million off of 20 bucks. I'm pulling that money out. I don't care. That's enough. <laughs> I'm not going to take any chances, right? Like, I'm taking that money out tomorrow, right? Like, you know. But I'm going to move it into an asset that can't fall, right? So, really quickly. And then start expanding and whatever, trying to make a financial gain from that, right? I'm pretty smart, but I'm master my situation, right? You guys can see it. If anybody thinks I'm uh, making this up or any of that, I can prove everything that I'm talking about. I got thousands, or not, I got... Over 50 witnesses to my homelessness and all the stuff that they've done to me. I have like over 50 people that can testify that, you know, I'm in the situation and I've been in it for a very long time now. And it's not by my design. It's because of the system, the way it is here, the way the prices of stuff is here, my uh, financial situation, my identity situation, all that stuff, right? And I'm going to come out of it. But uh, I think I'm going to come out of it and it's going to be like a survival situation. I'm going to come out of it in an even more fucked up situation. I already am, 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 I'm seeing that like, happen, right? So I just hope it doesn't go down like that. But eh. 
say it again, stay safe, stay tuned, God bless, and uh, yeah, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will make some interesting content, I'm going to start working on it, but I have to put it on a different platform. Okay? I'm going to make a little exposure video, I'm going to show people what's going on from what I my take is on on, on, a, on an analysis of all the stuff that I see going on. And I'm going to like put it out there on a video, right? So, Hobo Films Part 2 type thing, right? So, hey. Yeah, have a happy Friday, and God bless, and ciao for now. It's Hobo Films.